Who am I? Well, my name's not important, but it's what I do, you know? I'm the dock overseer. I oversee the dock. I'm the uh, comptroller of this beach out here. I don't exactly know where it is. Just sort of stumbled into it one day. I found the uh, key to the beach. And... uh, I've I've had it in my head ever since that, you know, sort of things go right around here when uh, I'm doing well by the beach. This dock, it's, uh, it's all I have. But you have to step back and think sometimes, you know, who would the dock have if I wasn't here? And that question, quite frankly, frightens me. Uh, there's all these birds and planes, and I rarely see another living soul on the beach. There's not really anyone here to take care of things, and they might not have found the key if I hadn't have found it, you know? It was in the water, it was under the sand, and I, uh, I know what to do with it, you know? It looks like an old shovel, but I can tell it's solid gold underneath. But I don't dare crack it open because someone might try to steal my gold. So instead, I I put it to use. I'll, I'll dig holes in the beach to let the water run in. You know, a lot of water on the beach that you got to take care of. Um, keep the beach nice and dry. Keep the ocean nice and wet. Because uh, if there's no water in the ocean, if it's all on the beach, then the birds and the fish don't have anything to swim in. It'd be a disaster. I'll watch the planes go by, yeah? Sometimes I wonder what it would be like if uh, if I was in charge of the planes instead of in charge of the beach. It doesn't look that far away. I could probably swim to the planes from where I am, but I don't know how to swim, which I should probably learn, but, you know, no one here to teach me. And I think the water's pretty deep, too, so I don't really want to go out that far. I don't really want to get my toes wet, because naked feet kind of gross me out, and I only have one pair of socks. So if those, if those socks got wet, I don't think I'd know what to do. I definitely keep my feet dry while I'm at the beach. I stand with my pants definitely pulled up enough that I've got some ankle space. And I, uh, what the F? sometimes the uh, dock shifts underneath me and it scares me because what if it takes off one day and, uh, I don't have a, I don't have a dock to stand on anymore or worse, what if it takes off with me on it? And there wouldn't be anyone there to reel me back into shore. I'd probably have to uh, learn to lure birds onto my raft and uh, use the reflection of the sun in my sunglasses to cook them. I don't know if I could bring myself to kill another living being, though. Sometimes I'll snip. Sometimes I'll step on a snail or a mollusk or whatever the hell these weird shell things are on the rocks on the beach and I feel real bad about it for 48 hours because you know no one deserves that not even a single celled organism like a snail there's not a lot of food out here but I make do you know I can make a salad from the grass and sometimes I eat the stones which uh, really help in my digestive system to macerate everything But, uh, other times, I just don't know what I'm doing. I, uh, I can hear the train go by in the background. I don't know what train it is. I think that's the one I came here on, but I, it's been so long I don't remember. And, you know, the job comes with hazards. There's uh, glass on the beach sometimes. 
and there's rocks you could sprain your ankle on. And sometimes when you look up at the uh, pole that holds the dock in place and the clouds are going by, it looks like the pole's moving instead of the clouds and you get a little freaked out, you gotta walk off the dock. But, you know, there's a lot of stuff that uh, could freak you out on the beach. And if you're scared by all of it, then you can't be the comptroller. I'm trying to decide on like a like a new name, you know, in case anyone ever shows up, I want to be able to tell them what my name is. And uh it's either going to be Michael Carmichael or Moxie Marlin Spike, I think, but I can't decide on which. I like Michael Carmichael, it rolls off the tongue. I like Michael Carmichael cuz it rolls off the tongue real nice. But Moxie Marlin Spike I think describes what I do a little bit better. Because I spike my shovel into the sand. I do a lot of digging on the beach. Some of it's business and some of it's pleasure. I'd be lying if I said watching the water flow off the sand wasn't immensely gratifying. But, uh, some days, you know, you just don't know what to think. There's a couple poles out on the water that looks like used to be part of the dock and you know if that end of the dock floated away I don't know where I'm gonna go because uh if my end of the dock floats away dock's gonna be about 20 feet shorter there's a big fence that says no trespassing but it doesn't go all the way to the water so I'll go back and forth I don't really pay the fence any mind I think it's a relic from another time I think uh It's a boat graveyard. Fuck. I can sometimes feel the dock shift and it scares me because I don't know how sound it is. And uh, I feel like if uh, it shifted a little too much, I'd fall in the water. Like I said, I'm not really familiar with the whole swimming thing never really learned it, so, who knows, I, uh, I find a lot of peace in the water, watching it flow by, hearing the birds on it, and the noises come across it, every once in a while I think I hear speech, but I think it's just the, uh, wind blowing in the trees, or a coyote, I don't know if the coyotes come to the beach because I think they hunt uh, chickens and stuff and we only have fish here. There's not really any turf. It's mostly surf. But you know how it goes. You find your beach and you find the key and you're sort of chained to it for life. I don't know how much longer my life's going to last. I'm in pretty good health right now. Haven't really had any issues so far, knock on wood. The beach has been good to me. I think the ocean air, I think it keeps me healthy. I think it keeps me strong and all the digging, you know, the digging helps a lot too. If I was uh, walking around on concrete or pavement, I probably wouldn't have such strong calves, but uh, I do have strong calves. I'm sure the ladies would love it if there were ladies. Things like that, of that nature. I want to write a book, but I don't have any paper or or a typewriter, and I don't really know how to read. But I know people write books, so I've been lining the rocks up in the sand. And uh, they might spell something, I don't really know. I, uh, I like the smaller rocks because they don't get in the way of my shovel when I'm digging. If I get a big rock, uh, it makes me kind of mad. I have to go somewhere and sit down and think about it for a while before I can uh, start digging again because it pisses me off when a big rock gets in the way of my shovel. Yeah, it's a good life. A bit run down, but... I think I know what my purpose is, and I'm here to fulfill it. 
I heard someone call it Dharma once, maybe in a past life. I think I'm an old soul. But definitely, definitely fulfilling my Dharma out here on the dock. I can tell by the way the birds look at me that uh, they know I'm important. And I know they're important too. I mean, without birds, there probably wouldn't be fish. And if there weren't either, then, you know, what would my dominion be? Some mollusks on some rocks on the shore, and that's no fun. Every once in a while, I'll uh, wake up and my rocks will have been moved. So my novel's not really going anywhere fast. But, you know, it's the type of thing that you can't complain about. All that really matters is that you're on the beach and you got the key to the beach and the birds and the fish and the mollusks know that you're the rightful owner of their dominion and they respect you for that and I respect them for respecting me. Anyway, that's enough about me. I think I've said everything I wanted to say.